by design and welcome to make and take tuesday this is a little series that i do three or four times a month where i introduce a brand new tool product or collection and show you something fun you can make with it today we're working with photo plays brand new brainiac collection and this is really cute y'all it's back to school time here in north carolina and this is just such a great back to school collection I have the 12 by 12 collection pack, and I also have the ephemera, die cut ephemera. So lots of little goodies in here, tags, banners, little sentiments, really fun. So let's take a look at the paper, because I know y'all like to do that. You're going to get 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. It's six different designs, and you get two of each design. And I love that they do that because then you don't have to choose between the back and the front. So I can just see this used for all kinds of back to school photos, all those stats that we do, you know, this tall and uh, this size shoe and all those things. I love photo place plaids. Wonderful little composition notebook page here. I can see some fun things that we could do with that keyboard backpacks i'm looking at this for the first time too guys look at this great just black solid so nice lockers and oh yeah the algebra there we go and then also it comes with the sticker element sheet so i want to use this today to make a little back to school explosion box this is a new also a new photo play and you can see how it's multi-layered here and i started putting mine together it's really simple because it comes with all the instructions and it tells you literally step by step what to do right down to whether your score line faces up or faces down it's real easy to do and i didn't complete mine yet because what i want to do is line my layers before I put the whole thing together. But you can see you've got slash pockets in the outer layer. Then the middle layer is regular pockets. And then the inside layer is these itty bitty cute little slash pockets. And then there's a teeny tiny accordion folio that goes in the very center. So that's fun. I'm going to go ahead and decorate this up and come back and show you what it looks like. Share any tips I might have picked up along the way that will make it easier for you to make than it was for me. And, uh, oh yeah, and here's the lid. Isn't that great? Super easy. Everything is pre-scored. All the holes are pre-punched. Everything, the, the slash pockets are pre-cut. It's a real quick and easy way to put an explosion box together. So let me finish mine and I'll be back to show you in just a minute. Okay guys, here it is all finished. This was a fun project. I've got it all decorated up. Here's the lid, just done up with a bunch of the stickers sort of layered over collage style. style. This is the pencil border. And then I just, these are all from the sticker pack. And then on the front cover, I created a little bow on the front with a dangle charm. I've got a tree and a clock and a hot air balloon, which I think is so nice for a school learning type symbol. School bus, little ruler, glitter ABCs, more stickers. Then over here, this is a three by four that I cut down to fit and a little wooden scissor that I had in my stash and a sticker pencil. This is a three by four that I fussy cut and put in. And here is another three by four that I cut down and a little wooden frame and a glue bottle. So this is the fun thing about these exploding boxes. Watch this. Isn't that neat? That just never grows old, you guys. So in the center, I did something a little bit different from what they did. Instead of using the itty bitty um, accordion, I made my own. And I used, um, I want to say I ended up with two, yeah, two and three quarter inch accordion. So this pulls out like this and like this. So you can put lots and lots of little photos in here, which is super fun. These inside pockets, 
I decided to go through my tags and I found a whole bunch of small tags. Some of these are little birdie. Some of these are um, my favorite things. Some of these, I don't even know what brand they are. They're just small tags. So I die cut lined notebook paper, a piece of red construction paper, and then a piece of patterned paper. And I used a jump ring to hook these together and put this little camera charm here so you can journal and you can put itty bitty photos here. These go in these tiny slash pockets. Decorated the pockets up with stickers. Here's a little apple paper clip that I found. So each of these pockets has the same thing in it. I'll just turn it so that you can see it all right side up. But these are fun to make. And um, here I found this cute little book charm that one of my online buddies sent me. So then this flips up and then here's the next bigger pocket. And what I did in this pocket, if I can pull it out, is I took two of the three by fours and I cut them together and scored in between and turned them into a little folio. So you can put, put a picture and a picture. And this is a little film strip uh, die that I had. So I cut the frame from black and then just put patterned paper in the center. So this goes here. And of course you can put pictures on this side, but it's a little awkward, so I don't recommend that. So each of these has one of these little folios with a little film strip tag inside of it all the way around. This is super cute to keep on a desk. Good sayings on the three by fours. I love what they say. Very positive, very affirmative. And then here's the last one right here. I put a little picture frame. I left it open so you can slip your picture in and back behind the little school bus image. And then here's the last little three by four. So cute, right? And of course you can stick other things into the pockets. So that brings us to the top row, and, and you've got room here for photos too, which you can do. I didn't put anything on the slash pocket. I just left it like it is, and inside the slash pocket, these are more little tags that I die cut. This one is just black with notebook paper, so you can put photo here, or journaling here. Here you can put photo, and if you have a white gel pen, you can journal on the back. So each of these pockets is identical. Just a fun little project. Like, Kind of a great little back to school, get in the mood, get ready. You could write teachers' names and favorite subjects and all those little things. And then this back pocket is big enough that you could actually put a, a fairly good sized photo in each pocket. So then this just all folds up and I'll show you. I did all these sides the same. I did all these sides the same. So it just folds up nice as you please. The cover goes on the front and it goes back on your desk. So this would be fun to have on your desk at work. It would be fun to send to a grandparent. It would be fun to have for a child to have on their homework desk. Very inspiring. So that is Photo Plays Brainiac. You can see I used a ton of the stickers. Um, and their brand new explosion box folio. Very fun. And that's it for me, Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design. I'm going to clean up my mess and then go get my craft on. Bye.